Taco and Margarita Fest is headed to Ashwaubenon next month, but this event uh, happens nationwide and it has brought some controversy along with it. Local 5's Barra Tryon explains why local and organizers, that is, guarantee what happened elsewhere doesn't happen here. It's a Taco and Margarita Festival. It is a Saturday, June 25th, here at Epic Event Center. It is billed as one of the nation's best taco and margarita festivals. But it's left a sour taste in the mouth of many people who have gone to past events. We're definitely aware of uh, you know of some of the other events that have been going on throughout the country. Um, as a result of that, we've just uh, not just to kind of dot eyes and cross T's uh, with the organization that we're working with. Those events have included food trucks that never show up, or ones that do cannot provide for all the people that bought tickets. What sets this event apart from others that have happened nationwide is not only what's going to happen here in the parking lot, but what's going to happen inside. Epic Event Center. At the end of the day, we we are the bar. You know, at the end of the day, we have our own vendors coming too. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's our parking lot. Epic Event Center says it has worked out many details with the festival's organizer, including taking over ticketing, which has caused problems elsewhere. 100% of the ticketing is is filtered right through our ticket site, the the same place that people have been buying their their Ice Cube and Stone Temple Pilot tickets. The group remains confident. Should something go awry with the organizer, the event center is ready. We're kind of making sure that um, no matter what happens, this event is going to happen. You know, we've got full support of the city. Um, we've got full support of our neighbors, uh, you know, uh, here in the, in, the, in the businesses that surround us. Um, we're excited for, uh, for a really cool event. Tickets are still available and start at $12. In Ashwaubenon, Barrett Tryon, Local 5 News.